Hey, what's up YouTube? This is part two of the Futaba receiver installation. So now what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to bind the control mode switch, the IOC, and the fail safe to your radio. Okay, so binding the control mode switch. So what you want to do first is double tap the link. Go to function and then go down to channel 7. Okay, enter and then you could set up wherever you want on your toggle switch. So on mine, I set up the SG which is up here. Press enter. Okay, so now on your assistance, when I press the SG switch, I could now toggle the switch from GPS, attitude, and attitude. Okay, so as you can see, when I switched it, it's right on the blue space but the first time when I try this when I switch it it goes way off it's not on the blue space on the GPS attitude or attitude so to fix that is you have to go to the endpoint option so that you could adjust the spacing of the switch you want to go to link go to end, end point and look for channel 7 Okay, so just copy what I have here 80 100 180 All right, so once you have those then you should be okay in adjusting your GPS attitude and attitude mode All right, so the next step will be activating the fail safe mode. I'm gonna be choosing this stick up here SF Okay, so to set that up you want to go to MOL Go to Progmix. Okay, so the first line you want to click on that. And you want to activate it. I already have done that. And then you want to pick which switch you want it to be activated. So in my case, I want the SF, which is the top left corner go to your setup of your switch so I got that off and on okay so now you just exit out okay and then from there what you want to do is change the master and slave to aux 5 so I already have done that so just make sure you got exact the same setting as what I have here all right so next just flip to the next page and just copy all the numbers I have here on my screen I have minus 61 minus 49 then minus 90 and plus 0 okay so once you have all those numbers and settings all set up and now you're able to switch your control mode switch this is my GPS attitude mode fail safe mode as you can see there I'll go switch it to attitude mode and I could still click on the fail safe mode okay then I'll go to the attitude mode again and click and switch to the fail safe mode okay so just copy all those settings and you'll be fine all right, so next we want to bind the uh, intelligent orientation control. So in this one, I will be using this switch over here, which is the SE. So what you want to do is go to linkage, go to function, enter, and you want to look for VPP. Click. And you want to set up which switch you want. Enter. Okay, so once you have that, exit out. So now you're able to control the IOC. Okay. So the first time when I bind my IOC, the switch is opposite. The switch, when it's all the way up, it's at home lock 
instead of off. So to switch it around, what you have to do is go to linkage, go to reverse, and then go to channel 6 VPP. Click, you want it normal or reverse, then just press enter. Okay, so you could do the same thing on the other switches. Alright, one last thing is how to activate your gimbal using this switch knob up here. So what I'm going to be using is I'll be using the LD knob for that. Alright, so go to linkage, go to function, and go all the way down to gear. Alright, and then from there you could pick whatever switch, whatever switch you want. So in this case, I want to use the LD, the switch knob. Press enter. And uh, there you go. So now, when I turn the knob, my gimbal will go down. As you can see, it's very nice and slow. I reduced the speed of the motion of up and down. It's very smooth. There's no jerkiness to it. I'll show you guys how to do that on my next video. Okay. You can see from the side angle. Very nice and smooth. Alright, I'll show you guys how smooth it is. it up again very smooth so there you go guys